Uh, I'd rather have him as a player. How's yeah. he doing? He's doing all right. I doubt if he plays tomorrow, but we'll see. Is there any more like No, he hasn't gotten or? the, uh, I wouldn't know it anyway, but he has, um, he still have to go get his MRI. He wanted to watch practice because we were working on a couple things that he wanted to see. Is it like the same for Doolin? Yeah, I guess. You know, we actually thought uh, Keon would practice today and, and couldn't, so I guess that's a setback. Uh, but that, you know, so I don't know when. Each one possibly started. Yeah, we'll outside. wait and see. You know, I'm not going to let you be first. <laughs> so you can be the insider. Maybe too, Doc. What about the other guys who said was J.O.? Is that just like a kind of a day off? Really? No, uh, he hurt his wrist yesterday. Uh, I think he'll play tomorrow. But we're not actually sure about that either. Is that the same wrist that he injured last season? Uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm 50%. I got it. Yeah, so, yeah, it's the same risk. <laughs> I have no idea. Doc, how challenging is it to have so many key guys? They might play, they may not play. It seems like everyone's yeah, going through that. I think everybody's just going through it. You know, our problem is we going through it and we're not ready yet. At home, if you know what I'm saying. We wasn't. We were not healthy. We're not in great. We're not healthy in training camp with Rondo's sprained ankle and Paul not going through it and then conditioning, and then now they're getting, you can see them coming around, but then you, the injuries are starting to come in. So um, that's our biggest problem is that we, we just want to be whole and right at the same time, and we've yet to have that. When you talk about being whole and right, uh, Danny recently said that you know he would consider breaking up the big before the right yeah. As a coach, how do you? Well, you don't ever like hearing that, uh, but it's, you know, listen, Danny and I are always on the same page. and. Uh, Danny, I don't think meant in any way that he was trying to trade anybody. You know, uh, I think that was the way it was looked at. Uh, I would say it's a very strong possibility uh, that we're going to get this together, and there's a stronger possibility that every single guy will be here. Rondo, you always want to be aggressive, but how fine a line is it? Because it's going to take more shots. If it's yeah, I don't mind. I, right now, I don't even want him thinking about the other part of it. I want him to just be aggressive. And if it's something that we have to figure out, like, you know, wait, wait a minute, other guys aren't involved, I'd rather figure that out than go the other way. You know, because a lot of times he is our best option uh, with his feet. Uh, his ability to attack, his ability to create fouls. Uh, he put us, he, we were in penalty, I want to say, with eight minutes in the first quarter because he was so aggressive. And that benefits everybody. Now when Kevin gets fouled, he has two free throws. Or Paul and Ray, those are made baskets for us. So um, I thought that was terrific.